Join me under my sink today! Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of plumbing work. Well, not really. It should be pretty easy. This little guy broke off. So you pull this. It's not attached to anything, I think. Because of the age, it just rusted off completely. So, got this kit. It's got some replacement parts in there. We're going to give that a try. Also, I need to take this apart. Now, that plunger that clogs the drain is right here. It's attached right here to this little bar. Sorry if it's kind of dark under here. I should get a flashlight. And there's this nut around the corner. Ah, much better. Now you can see. So this is the rod that plugs the drain. It's connected to this extender. And then there's this little nut here that moves the thing up and down. So I'm gonna undo this nut, take this apart, and whatever needs to be replaced, we'll see. I'm just gonna hit record and start working and you guys will be along for the ride. I'm gonna do some minimal editing here on this video. So you can see how long it actually takes for the whole process. Let's take this little kit apart. It's supposed to be universal. It's got minimal instructions on the back, so if you don't know what you're doing, read through that. Me, I'm just going to eyeball it and see what I need to do. Hey, it even included some Teflon tape. Look at that. It was about $9, I think, at Home Depot. We can reuse some of these parts. Yeah, yeah it's rusted. That's the broken part right there. So there's supposed to be a hook on there. Look at the difference here. This is the old one. Notice how it's really tapered there? And rusted? It's not catching on the stopper. The new one, the metal is about twice as thick on this one, so this is no longer working. Luckily this is already good to go. This is all that we need to replace. I'm not going to replace the top part, so I've got all these extra pieces and parts here. And there's a couple different nuts that this comes with, so you just have to find the right size in this kit for whatever fits your sink. As luck would have it, I think the default one that I need is installed already. Might be that one. We'll see. Trial and error, really. So this thing is threaded. Screw it on and you're good to go. Okay, so that rod that I was talking about, here's a better angle. Sorry for the shakiness, I'm kind of standing here at a weird angle under my sink. But anyway, that little ball on the end of that rod goes into this hole. And if we look down our sink, That little thing poking out there, that's the metal rod. 
So if I reach my hand under there, if I can do this. See that moving? That little hook is what catches on here. So we just have to line those things up now and screw it all back together. rod is just a little bit too long back here. There we go. Once we tighten that up, that should be good, hopefully. Getting this clip on was surprisingly the hardest part. Or, lining up the hole for the peg that goes to the underside of this. Hey, it works! So if you didn't know too much about how a sink drain works and how a sink drain plunger works, now you know. Hooray, it's working. One less thing to do around the house today. Guys, I hope you found that useful. If you got any comments or questions, leave them below. Hit subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.